Shalom, shalom, lekulam. Today we're going to cover the kaf as a suffix, and we will find that in every case it is used for the second person singular, both masculine and feminine. And as we saw with the vav and with the he as suffixes, they refer to specific people in terms of a pronoun, in terms of a possessive pronoun or attached to a verb as the object of that verb or attached to a preposition. So we're going to look at a few of those and of course we'll start in the scriptures. Breshit Yudzayan Pasuk Shtemesre Genesis 17 verse 12 Uven shmonat yamim yimolachem kol zachar ledorotechem yilid bayit Umiknat Kesef Mikol Ben Nechar Asher Lo Mizarcha Hu Dvarim Ba Pasuk Chamesh Deuteronomy 6 5 Viahavta et Yehova Elohecha Bachol Levavacha Ubachol Nafshecha Ubachol Meodecha So the first piece in Genesis 17 is about circumcision, a commandment that the Father gave to Abraham. And we see that the son is circumcised on the eighth day, but it also talks about whoever is in the house who was bought with money, perhaps a slave. And it says, even if he is the son of a foreigner who is not of your seed. So zera is the word for seed, and we see that mizar acha, that cha, the kafsafit, with the kamats. Uh, under it will tell us that it is your seed. It's a singular your talking specifically to Abraham and all those who came after him. In the second verse, which you surely know from Deuteronomy, uh, we see that you shall love the Lord your God and it is your God, Elohecha, with all your heart, Levavecha, and all your soul, Nafshecha, and all your strength, me'odecha. So all those cups of feet tell us that it is a singular masculine your. Yechezkel tetzayin pasuk arba'im vechamesh. Ezekiel 16, verse 45. Bat imech at goelet isha uvaneha v'achot achotech at Asher Gaalu on Shehen Uvnehen Imchen Chitit Baavichen Emori Shehashirim Dalid Pasuk Tesha Song of Songs Chapter 4 Verse 9 Livbavtini Achoti Chala Livbavtini Baachat Meenayech Baachat Anak Mitzavronayech Here we see the feminine your and uh, it is just differentiated by the vowels. So uh, from Ezekiel we say, you, we see you are the daughter of your mother. M is for mother, imech, your mother. And uh, it's sung to a woman, it is uh, feminine, your mother. And also you are the sister of your sisters. Achot, achotech, your sisters. So the kaf sofit represents that singular, Second person, female, your. From the Song of Songs, you have uh, captured me. You have captured my heart with one of your eyes, one glance of your eyes. Me enayich. So ayin is one, enayim is the plural. And uh, to form the possessive, we drop the mem feet, and he's going to add this kaf feet. Enayich, your eyes. And also, uh, with one link of a chain, mitzavronayich, from your necklace, from the word savar, which means neck. Breshit lamedzayin, pasuk shalosh esrei. Genesis 37, verse 13. Vayomer Yisrael el Yosef, halo achecha roim b'shchem, lecha v'esh lechecha, Alehem Vayomer Lo Hineni Breshit Tet Vav Pasuk Sheva Genesis fifteen seven Vayomer Elav Ani Yehovah Asher Hotsiticha 
מאור קסטים, לתת לך את הארץ הזאת לרשתה. In Genesis 37, uh, we see two, two different kafs of feats, and the first one is a possessive. Uh, Jacob is sending Joseph out to see how his brothers are doing in Shechem. And so it says, uh, are your brothers not uh, shepherding in Shechem? So the, your brothers is achecha. Again, achim is brothers, plural. To add the possessive, you drop the memsafit, and that kafsafit with that kamat, that's your brothers. And then we see also as the object of the verb. The verb is shalach, to send. And Jacob says, eshalacha. There's two chas there. Um, shalach, the aleph is, if you remember, the aleph is for I will, shalach, send. And then the kafsafit is you. He's talking to Joseph, um, to his son, I will send you. In the piece in Genesis 15, uh, the father is talking to Abraham. And he says, um, uh, I am the God who took you out of Ur of the Chaldees. So the verb there is hotseti. It's conjugated for I took out, and then the chaf savit at the end is you. I took you out. Specifically, he's talking to Abraham. We also now get into a little bit of the prepositional use, and we know that the lamet is used as a preposition to mean to, and also some other translations. We might have to change the preposition in English. Remember, prepositions never translate. Uh, conveniently from language to language, they're never the same. But lecha um, is that lamed, preposition to, and the chafsafit is you, masculine singular, to Abraham. What did he give? He gave the land as an inheritance. Shmuel Aleph, Perak Kafe, Pasuk Arbaim, 1 Samuel 25, verse 40. Via vo'u abde David. El Abigail HaKarmala, V'yidabru Aleha Lemor, David Shalachnu Elayich, Lekachtech Lo Leisha. Ruth Aleph, Pasuk Sheshesre, Ruth 1.16. V'tome Ruth Alt Ge'ivi Le'azvech, Lashuv Me'acharayich, Ki El Asher Tilchi Elech, Uva Asher Talini Alin, Amech Ami, in First Samuel, we're looking at the incident where uh, Abigail has come to plead on behalf of her foolish husband before David, and then uh, sure enough, her foolish husband dies, and David comes to take her as a wife. So we see the first cups of feet is Eliyach, and so. Uh, David's servants, his workers, have come to her and they say, David has sent us to you, Eliyach. So we have the preposition El, to, and the, uh, it carries a Yud with it, and then the Chafsafit. But the Chafsafit has that Shva, we know that, how it, that it's feminine from that. Sent us to you, and then attached to the verb, to take you. So we have Lakacha. And then the kaf sofit, to take you, Abigail, feminine singular. In the second scripture in this slide from Ruth, we see that um, again we have the feminine second person singular object attached to the verb. So um, Ruth is talking to Naomi in this, in this very uh, well-known passage, and she says, you know, don't, don't bother me to leave you. So we see the la meaning to, the lamed, um, azav meaning to leave, and then that kaf sofit, to leave you. Um, we also see uh, a, a, preposition, a pronoun attached to a preposition, me'acharayach, to, um, to turn away from you. And so that uh, kaf sofit is there. Um, also, again, Ruth is referring to Naomi to turn away from her. And uh, also where she says, uh, your people will be my people. Amech, your people. The kaf sofit is for the possessive. Second person singular, you. 
Amidbar Vav Pasuk Hashem Veshesh Number 626 Yisa Yehovah Panav Elecha Vyasim Lecha Shalom Devarim Yudalet Pasuk Shtayim Deuteronomy 14.2 Ki Am Kadosh Ata Lihova Elohecha Uvacha Bachar Yehova Lihiot Lo Laam Sugula Mikol Ha'amim Asher Apne Ha'adama Looking at some other prepositions uh, in the, this piece in Numbers from the Aaronic Benediction, uh, where it says that um, Yahweh will lift up his face to you, Elecha, that's singular, uh, you. And also he will place or he will give uh, to you, Lecha, Shalom. In the second a verse in Deuteronomy, where um, Yahweh is saying, you know, that the people will be holy people and they will be a peculiar people to him. And it says, uh, to Yahweh Elohecha, that is your God, um, as a possessive. And then with the bet, which we've discussed before, which means in or with, uh, it's used with the verb bachar, to choose. To choose you, specifically a masculine singular you, bacha. Ruth Gimel Pasuk Harishon Ruth 3.1 Vatomer lana ami chamota biti Halo avakesh lach manoach asher yitav lach Ruth Bet Pasuk Esrim Bishtayim Ruth 2.22 Vatomer na ami el Ruth kalata Tov biti ki tetzi im naarotav Velo yifguuvach Sometimes it's a little hard to find these uh, feminine endings, which is why we keep winding up in Ruth. But here we have the uh, feminine singular, uh, a second person, attached to the preposition, Lamed, Lach. So she, uh, Ruth is telling, uh, Naomi is telling Ruth what she needs to do about how to um, get Boaz's consent to be the kinsman redeemer. And she says, you know, am I not going to ask for what's good for you? I'm going to ask after you for rest, that, that I'm going to ask for you, rest, and also what is good for you? That yitav, there's from the word tov, lach, what is good for you? In this case, it looks like to you. In the second piece, Naomi is uh, telling Ruth to stay in the field with Boaz, because she says they won't bother you there. And that so that you is also that preposition bet, which means in or to or unto or with. And, and we see the feminine ending on it. Uh, vach. Yov Aleph Pasuk Sheshesre. Job 1.16. Odze medaber vizeba viyomer Esh Elohim nafla min hashamayim, v'tiv ar batzon u'v'naarim v'tochlem v'imalta rak ani levadi lahagid lach. Mizmor tet zayin pasuk echad v'shtayim. Michtam le David shamreni el ki chasiti vach amart leva Adonai ata tovati bal. There is one peculiar anomaly uh, that has to do with the uh, marks and the chanting, the pacing of the chanting of all of Tanakh. And so what that results in is sometimes never for possessive and never for the object of the verb, but occasionally with these one-letter prepositions, we see what appears to be a female ending, even though it's talking about a male uh, referent. So in this uh, scripture from Job, here is the, uh, the destruction has fallen on his family, and here comes the one servant. He says, and I'm the only one who has escaped, lahagid, and it says lach, to tell you. Clearly, he's talking to Job. Clearly, Job is a man. He means to say you, but it looks like a feminine form, and it has to do 
with the, um, the, the Masoretic Marks for the Cantillation. Uh, we get to the end of the um, verse, and so instead of being Lecha, it comes out Lach. This never happens in modern Hebrew. This is just a little Biblical Hebrew anomaly, and you do see it um, from time to time. A second example of it is in Psalm 16, in verse 1, which is um, uh, God, Ael, he refers to God as Ael, please guard me because I have trusted in you. And rather than it Bacha, it is Vach. It looks feminine, but it just has to do with the pacing, the grammatical uh, construct that makes it um, Bach instead of Bacha. Uh, I have put this second, um, the verse, uh, on this slide so we can discuss uh, one more little bubamysis that goes around in the um, in uh, Messianic circles. In the second verse we see a word which is Bet Lamed Baal. And this is not Baal, like the god Baal. This Baal is a negative particle that means uh, basically without or I don't have except for this. The, the meaning here is um, you are my goodness, atatovati, you are my goodness, without, uh, without it, I, without you, without you, the concept is, I don't have any goodness without you. And so that is what that Baal is doing there. Um, the the Bubamises is that people say, well, you know, Genesis starts with a bet, and the Book of Chronicles ends with a Lamed. And so the Lamed is looking back to the bet, and together they spell Lev, which is heart, and the Torah is about the heart, and Tanakh is about the heart, and, and I'm not saying that it's not about the heart. However, part of the story is, and you know that's right, because there is no word which is Bet Lamed, there's only a word which is Lamed Bet. Well, it's not true. There is a word Bet Lamed, it appears in other places besides here. So that is the end of that uh, idea. All right, I hope this is helpful to you. We're done with cough. We have uh, just two more letters to go, Shin and Tav. And then uh, the goal of discussing each one of the letters will be completed. In the meantime, keep your eye on the sky, your redemption draweth nigh. Shalom.